Okay, welcome to week four of Sisiskiyou Sustainable Co-op, uh, Lizzie's Farm Kitchen. And before I forget, I want to give a shout out to all the members that we saw at Michael Franti at the Brit. It was so fun to see you all there. And today I'm going to teach you how to make sauerkraut, which I'm super excited about. Uh, before I do that, I'm going to mention a couple other things in the box. And we have zucchini. What do you do with zucchini? You grill it. And I know you know that, but I'm just going to tell you my method because I'm Lizzie of Lizzie's Farm Kitchen. So I just cut it like this in strips. And then I just put olive oil and salt on it and grill it. And I make my marinade on the side, whatever marinade, salad dressing, uh, tamari, and sesame oil and ginger. So you grill it. Then when it's hot, after you grill it, you just stick it in the marinade in your little pie dish. And it sucks it all up when it's hot and the marinade isn't all dripping into the, the grill. So that's just one super easy thing to do. The other thing we have in the box today is fresh basil. And of course it's pesto season and I want you all to know that making pesto is a snap. It's not a big deal. Just throw out all the stuff in the food processor. And I made some last night and every time I make fresh pesto, here it is, I just throw like half of it in the freezer. And these little lids, these are canning jars and you can get these lids at Fred Meyer, they're awesome. The other thing you can do with fresh basil, this which we don't have tomatoes yet, is you can um, break the, the leaves off, put them on your BLT, put them on your sandwich, throw them in your stir fry, and then this morning I saw this incredible recipe for strawberry basil margaritas. You could just Google that. It was super easy. The other thing I do sometimes in the summer, if I don't have time, I just take the basil and I put it in the blender or the food processor with olive oil, and then I freeze that and then in small little ice cubes or little containers. And then in the winter, just throw that in your sauce or whatever. And then you have like this fresh basil in the winter. Okay, and then, okay, then we have some potatoes. You know what to do with potatoes. The other thing we have is berries. And I just want to do one quick thing with berries. Of course, eating them out of hand is best, but who is really going to turn the oven on? So this is what you do. You take your heavy cream or your olive oil, excuse me, or your half and half, you pour it in the bowl. It's so hard, people, watch this. You take your maple syrup, you pour it in the bowl, you take your spoon, mmm, and you eat it. Oh my god. I saw it on a vlog. I actually have never done this. It's incredible. Mmm, mmm. I could die right now. Oh my god. Okay. Sauerkraut. Um, the stuff that you get at the co-op, the pickle planet, is excellent, but if you want to make it yourself, it's super easy. All you do is you take your cabbage, you cut it in half. You can use a food processor, but I think it's just as quick cutting it yourself. And I like long, thin strips, and the food processor doesn't do that. You just cut your cabbage in long, thin strips, and... Since I am Julia Child, I haven't already prepared. I already did that for you. And then I mix the salt in, and the ratio is five pounds of cabbage to three tablespoons of salt. This cabbage is probably about a pound and a half. Anyway, then you mix it up in your bowl like this by hand, and then you just let it sit for half an hour, and it gets the juices flowing. And so I've had this in the bowl for about half an hour. And I'm just doing a small batch, so you can see how to do it. Then what you do is you take your crock, if you're doing a big batch, but you can also just do it in a jar. It's just easy. So you just take your cabbage. This, like I said, it already has a salt on it. Look at the juice coming out of that already. That means our cabbage from the system co-op is so fresh and so good. You put it in your jar, and then you take your pounder. This is a rolling pin I have. Pound, pound, pound. Okay. Same thing. You, just, you would do it longer. I'm just doing it quick just to show you how to do it. Pound, pound, pound. Or you do it in the crack. Pound, pound, pound. More. Pound, pound, pound. Right? Pound, pound, pound. Then you, what you do is you, I'm trying to figure out how to do this quickly for you all, but anyways, fill it up as high as you can. Pound, pound, pound. And after, you'll see, this is the important thing. You'll see how there's liquid coming to the top. Ooh, coming, it's so juicy, so fresh. Coming to the top, what you wanna do next is clean off all your extra cabbage, and then you need something like a jar that fits in there or whatever you have, push it down. See all that juice is coming up? That's it. You are done. 
Then you just take a little rag or towel, put it over it, and set it aside in your kitchen for a couple days. After three days, keep tasting it. You'll want to check it to make sure all your cabbage is covered by the juice. That is it. Then you just put it in your fridge after it's done. That's all.